first of all, I did an, inter an internship. Um, and people are very willing. They're probably looking for interns right now because they do not have to pay them. Um, as a matter of fact, we sometimes get frustrated because we're trying to drum up new clients and the reply is, well, we're having our clerks read for us right now. We're having our interns read for us right now. So you can absolutely get an internship. Um, what I did before I got my internship, I actually called Meetup, and I hated doing this, but I made a bunch of cold calls. I found someone who was a reader. I took her to her favorite restaurant and bought her a three-course meal, and in, and in turn, she let me pick her brain. One of the most valuable things she did was supply me with the formats for what she's referred to as book reports, but what we usually call story reports or coverage. And that gave me the blueprint for how it's really done in the industry. Be prepared. Every executive is different and every company is a little different. So it's a matter of getting in there and being willing to adapt yourself. There's a couple of things. One, Craigslist, of all places. If, if you, as I often do, cruise Craigslist, about once a week, there's somebody who wants coverage. And of course, they always want it for dirt cheap. But that's a way to get sample coverage. You can also take any book you know, any script you've seen, and write a sample coverage, because people want to see sample coverage. And if you can show them that you know how to follow the form, which you can find, you know, we, again, we can send you copies of right. what, what this stuff looks like. To do that, internships are good if that's not practical. Try, try doing the uh, route because they are, they're out there, they need it. They get so many scripts, so many scripts. At one point I worked for DreamWorks and they had 22 readers and we were busy. Yeah, all the time. Can you imagine? We were taking five, six scripts home. That's a lot of scripts. So they will welcome you with open arms, especially if you say, well, you know, for the first month or two, I'd be happy to do it. I fell into it, don't hate me. I had a roommate who was a reader, and at the time I was a freelance journalist and not making a living at it. And he said, you know, it's not rocket surgery, because it isn't. It's basically if you go to a movie and you come out and you're not satisfied, you can always pinpoint it. You can go, you know what, it was miscast. You know what, that was a great idea, but I've seen it before. You know what's wrong with the movie. And the same thing is true when you read a script. You will know what's wrong with it. And so all you have to do is to be able to articulate whether what's right with the movie, what's wrong with the movie. So learn how to do the coverage, do a couple of sample coverages, and if you do that, they will come. They will. Uh, <clears throat> I stumbled into it also. Um, I worked for a French financing company and cranked out coverages for an astonishingly low rate until I got really good, and then I went to all these other companies. Um, and. I find, and, and it's true, you have, if you are able to articulate what you sense about a film or a script, then you're way ahead of the game because most people read a script or watch a movie and go, oh, it was good. Yeah, I liked and it. I, I, yeah, it was cool. Um, the guy was cute. But the guy was cute, yeah. Yeah, it kind of fell apart, but I'm, yeah. Um, you need to be able to say concisely and precisely what is right and wrong with the script and make suggestions on how to improve it. The, the one problem that I see with a lot of not so great readers is they are really pleased with their own voice and they feel it's really important to rip everything no matter what. And I don't recommend that as an MO. Um, I think reader, writers work their butts off and, and deserve to be respected. And we are here to improve the craft of writing, I think. Um, so writing a fair analysis is really important. And, and what she said, write sample coverages. All of your friends write scripts. Do free coverage for them. Get some samples together. Get your chops together and have somebody look at it and tell you how it, your coverage is. And then start cold calling companies. Companies whose films you like or whose products you like. Call them up, say, hey, I'm looking, I'm a reader, I'm looking for work. 
I did that over and over and over again, and that's how I got in every company I was I have read for. There's also these places like Scriptapalooza where mm -hmm. they pay they pay dirt, they really do, but you learn the craft, yeah. especially with Scriptapalooza, they break it down so that you're forced to examine. Uh, one of the, one of the things they go is how are the first ten pages? Um, they'll ask you the theme. And they're always looking for people because it's such a grind that you can't do it very long. But it's a way to get paid while you learn. Mm -hmm.